Lately, my closet has been feeling cluttered and disorganized. Waking up first thing in the morning to piles of clothes disheveled on the ground is not the best way to start your day. And with wedding planning and summer around the corner, I needed to do some serious cleaning and organizing to give me some peace of mind, to have one less thing to stress about. Welcome back to my channel and a new video from me. In this video, I will be tackling my very messy closet and sharing my best decluttering and organizational tips. So if you're not subscribed yet, consider to do so and like this video if you like this type of content. Now let's get straight into this video. The first thing I did in this process was to measure out my closet and make sketches and notes on how I would like the closet to look like by the end of the process. I thought about what side of the closet would hold shoes, belt, hat, what clothes would be hung versus folded. During this step, I also tried to think about what my lifestyle looked like. For example, if you are somebody who works in an office five times a week, you would probably want your workwear to be at the front of the closet and an easy accessible shelf. If you're a stay-at-home mom, you would want suitable clothing for that. I also measured out my drawers so I could have an idea of what uh, drawer dividers would be suitable for my needs. Uh, I bought mine from Ikea. I'll put it up on the screen somewhere here. They were very affordable and worked with the measurements of my drawer. But I'm sure you can also get very affordable uh, dividers on Amazon, Target, Walmart, whatever. By taking notes, making measurements, and having a brief inventory of your clothing, that will really help you to prevent overbuying organizational tools and hangers and things like that. So the second step of this process was to start decluttering my closet. So the meat and potatoes of this whole process. And uh, I did have quite a few pieces in the closet that did not fit me because I did gain some COVID pounds. I had some clothes that I really didn't like. They were, I just outgrew them and it wasn't my style anymore. So I definitely had a lot of pieces that were taking up unnecessary space in my closet but also in my mind. It was constant anxiety going into my closet trying to find things because I just had so many things that either didn't fit me or I just didn't like. For me it was important that I was going to finish this process with a closet that only have items that I truly love and that I use regularly so they have a low cost per use um, and I knew I wouldn't have all the perfect pieces in the closet but at least the pieces that I had would be something that I really like. When it comes to decluttering I'm not going to go too deep into it because there's so many YouTube videos that talk about it but you could either you know just take out all the items from your closet put it on your bed and then go through it one by one and have piles for yes no maybe i decided to work on my closet in sections so i would work from rack to rack or i would work on one drawer at a time because i really didn't feel like tossing out all my clothes onto the bed and just disorganizing things even more. So I just want one step at a time. That for me was a manageable way to go through all my items. I also had my three suitcases in the closet, the suitcases that I traveled from Sweden with and two of them were completely empty. So I just put them down in the basement so they were out of sight and it opened up a lot more space in my closet. The third suitcase, I actually did have some items in there that I haven't decided yet where I'm gonna place them in this home. So one of the suitcases did remain in my closet. The third step was very easy, it was to clean, remove dust and debris from the empty closet. As I said, I worked in my closet in sections, so the closet was never 100% free of clothes, but I did make sure that the floor was completely cleared out so I could uh, give a good vacuum. And for every shelf that I cleared, I just went over with uh, a dust rag that cobwebs and dust in the corners were removed. So the fourth step for me was to take all my clothes back into the closet again. For me, I really just tried to figure out, okay, what does my day-to-day -day lifestyle look like and how can I organize the closet efficient for my lifestyle? I walk three miles every morning, Monday to Friday, so I knew that active wear needed to be at the front. I volunteer at a flower farm, so that also requires active wear that I don't really care about being messy. So leggings, t-shirts, 
sports bras were the type of clothing that I kept easily accessible at the front of the closet. All other types of clothes I barely use during the weekday, so that could be put away in drawers or further back in the closet. Underwear and sleepwear is something I reach for every single day, obviously, so I kept that on the upper drawers of the cupboard, and that's also where I utilized my dividers because I was going to be in there every single day, so I wanted things to look smart and organized. And I also decided to roll up my clothes and put them in rows rather than stack, fold them and stack them because in that way I could actually see everything visually and see what I have. And, and it's easy to grab without disturbing the other clothes so they become unfolded again. When it comes to seasonal clothing, I had to put away my heavy knits and jumpers because it was going to be summertime at that point when I was filming the video. Now it is summertime, so I wouldn't be reaching for those heavy knits every single day. So I put them in my bottom drawers. But when winter comes up again, I'll put my summer clothes in the bottom drawers and winter knits I will fold on and put on my upper drawers or even on open shelving so I can just reach for it. If you have more clothing items than I do, you may not have enough space to put in your knits and jumpers in the closet even or in any of the drawers you might have to maybe utilize under the bed storage maybe put them if you have a suitcase in your bedroom you could put the clothes in a suitcase as i said everything that i put in drawers were rolled up rather than folded so i could see everything i also organized my clothes in the drawers by primarily by type of clothing and then secondarily by color coding first priority okay what kind of clothing is it a short sleeve uh, no sleeve or a long sleeve so I ordered by that when it came to my hanging clothes I hang primarily by um, color coding because it's just more visually pleasing for me but if it feels better for you to do by type of clothing so maybe all dresses then you should do that for my hair scarves and just like Kitenga fabrics and I really like to have but don't reach for all the time I put on the upper shelf in the closet in a basket that I got from Ikea. In a second basket that I also bought from Ikea, I stored my fluffy socks, uh, some more scarves. But in the winter when I wear my fluffy socks like crazy, I'll just swap out um, some of the summer items and put them in the basket up high. So basically you just rotate when the season changes. So I did buy a stepping stool from Ikea as well so I can step up and reach for something if I really need it. And on the other side of the closet, we have another really high up shelf where I put some of my high heels. I keep them away since I don't use them frequently, but when I do need to reach for them, I do have my stepping stool. But if you have more shoes, maybe you wanna get a shoe shelf or do like me, most of my shoes I actually keep in a mudroom. For my jewelry, I just keep my jewelry on a really beautiful tray that some friends gave to me and Rich for uh, a wedding present. It's from Zimbabwe, handmade, so I love it. So that's where I keep a lot of my jewelry and most of the jewelry is also in little um, boxes that they came with when I purchased the jewelry. And I don't feel the need to display anything because I know what I own. Uh, one day I might buy a bigger jewelry box to just consolidate everything and put everything in one place. And when it comes to hats, uh, I actually have some winter hats in one of the buckets uh, up on the high shelf and that will just come down when it's winter time. I have two belts and they are hanging on hooks on the closet door which they were already there when we moved in so I didn't do anything new or fancy with that. The last step of this process is optional and that is beautification or working on the aesthetic of your closet to just give you that happy feeling like that little extra thing when you enter your closet. For me, that was putting in a little cute plant, like a succulent that it's hardy. Uh, but if you don't have a window like I do in your closet, you could put a fake plant from like Ikea or something. You could put a bowl of potpourri or something because that's cute. I did purchase from Amazon like a scented uh, closet deodorizer, but I think it would be really nice to go into your closet and just feel a nice whiff of jasmine or fresh linen whatever scent you like that could be a really great addition to your closet another easy upgrade you can make is change your light bulb to a white light bright light bulb so i just purchased a light bulb 
with 4000 Kelvin and that makes it easier to actually see what you have in the closet rather than the cozy yellow light that works in other spaces of your home. And lastly, if you're more ambitious than I am, you could paint your closet in a funky color. You could use removable wallpaper with funky print and just give you that pop to make your closet feel a little bit extra. So guys, that was the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to press the thumbs up and consider to subscribe. I'm really happy that my closet is finally organized and decluttered and this is a work in progress. So I don't have the perfect curated closet but it is organized and it is clean and it feels so good one less stressor in my life we have enough stress in our lives as it is so i'm very pleased with how i've organized my closet so far as i said as life changes as our needs changes i might have to reorganize again but for now i'm super happy so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one bye <music>